So this is a story about a raccoon and all of his friends, okay? Um, are we going to read a book? I'm just going to tell you a story today, and then I've got some poems that I'm going to read to you, some funny poems, okay? But I'm going to just tell you a story. Is that all right, Charlie? Yes, okay. that's only just story. Just, I'm just going to tell you a story instead of reading it out of the book. Okay. But it's about raccoon and all of his friends, and they're really, really scared. How about a can you get your bubble for me? Oh, we might talk about owls in this story. You know about raccoon's friends, don't you? All right, yeah, keep your bubble for me. All right, so one night, raccoon was walking through the woods. He was creeping and tiptoeing because he was really, really, really scared. Do you know what raccoon was scared of? Uh, he was scared of night animals. He kept hearing all these scary things about animals that only came out at night, and he was terrified of them. So he was creeping through the woods and he was looking around and he was listening to see if he could hear anything because he was so scared he was going to run into one of those night animals. And then all of a sudden he heard something. He heard leaves rustling. Oh goodness, what is that? And then he looked and there was a flash of movement. And he looked and somebody else curled up in a ball. Who do you think he saw all curled up in a ball? Um, <laughs> Possum, he said, what are you doing? Possum peeked out and said, who's there? It's me, Raccoon. Why are you playing possum? Possum said, whew, I didn't know who you were. I thought you were one of those scary night animals and I was afraid you were gonna get me. Raccoon said, whew, I was scared you were one of those scary night animals too. <laughs> so they decided that they would stay together and keep each other safe from those scary night animals. But they liked being out at night because Raccoon said he could see better at night and Possum liked being out at night too because he couldn't see during the daytime. The light was too bright. So they were in the woods and they were walking through. Can you guys help me creep? Creep. They were creeping through, walking, walking. And they were looking around and they were listening to see if they could hear anything. They heard something. What was it? And they were looking and looking and about that time possum said oh my goodness oh, my it stinks what they find oh, skunk. possum said skunk what are you doing skunk said who's there possum said it's me and raccoon why are you spraying us and skunk came around and he said i'm so sorry i was scared you were one of the night animals and then when i get scared i spray i didn't mean to spray you Whew, Possum said, that's all right, but don't do it again. <laughs> you know, said Raccoon, we're scared of those night animals too. So why don't we stay together and we'll stay safe? And so the three friends kept going. What did they do? Y'all, yeah, Kendall's got it. They're doing what, Kendall? They're creeping along. Ready? They're creeping along and they're looking and they're watching. And they're listening. <gasps> what was that behind them? They heard something back there. So they hid behind a tree. And all of a sudden they heard a bark. <laughs> and Skunk said, Hey, I know that growl. Bear, what are you doing? <laughs> Bear said, Who's that? And Skunk said, It's me, Possum and Raccoon, your friends. Bear said, Whoo. I thought you were some of those scary night animals and I'm scared of those scary night animals. Ah. And so the four of them were sitting there and they were talking about what they could do to stay safe from all those scary, scary night animals. And out of the corner of his eye, Raccoon could see something flying and it went and landed on the ground right beside him, so quietly. It was a Who flew real quietly? Who did you talk about, Charlie? Um, how about a bat? It could have been a bat, but what it... Owl. This was an owl, and the owl came down, and he said, what are you doing? I've been watching you all night. And they said, owl, we are scared of the night animals. And the owl said, hmm. And, and, and he said, you are not animals. You think that's what he's going to say? Okay. He said, you can knock the out. Okay, hold on. He said, hmm, tell me about these night animals. And they said, well, they only come out at night. They don't come out during the day. And they're really, really scary. And Al said, hmm, why are you out right now? And they said, well, 
it's too hot during the daytime and the sun hurts our eyes, we just move around a whole lot better at night. And Al said, hmm, it sounds like you are the night animals. And Raccoon thought and said, what did he say? He said, oh, oh we are the night animals. And they thought that they were being really, really silly. And then they got to talk and they said, you know, we might should go tell our friend Coyote because Coyote had been so scared of the night animals, he thought him out of his den for a whole week. So they were walking to Coyote's house and they were looking and the sun was starting to come up in the sky and they were walking and they were walking and the raccoon said, oh, wait, 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 just a minute. If we're the nighttime animals, who are the daytime animals? Maybe they're scarier than the nighttime animals. And they ran to Coyote's house. Eagles, yeah, they ran to Coyote's house to hide from those scary daytime animals. You think they've been scared of those scary daytime animals? Yeah. They were running from the eagles. They were running from the eagles. You think I'm running from eagles too? I think. Yeah.